guys spoon so I almost wasn't gonna do a video today because it's really hot and sticky here I didn't do one yesterday because I needed a break I was spending much needed time with my family so today oh I just walked into a spider web today I'm gonna talk about squash pumpkins watermelon let me show you beautiful mess and I call it beautiful mess because it has some good green in it some bad green in it it goes through my compost pile and I um, right over here across the fence but it's gotten so big there are four watermelon in here and I have two more starts so there's six watermelon but it's really hard to navigate this and I have some yellow going on in here which I have done fish emulsion and all kinds of stuff but I don't know I don't know what else to do but it is huge and it runs all the way over my fence and it's taken over my Swiss chard bed. It's got lots of buds on it. And got a watermelon start right there. And I've got a big one in here somewhere. There's a little one right there. Oops, sorry about that. What I've learned throughout these shed wars is learning from other gardeners, you know. This is hard to get around. This is actually really hard to prune. And here's my big one. That's the biggest one. The other ones are kind of small still. But I have been in there to prune it. But next season, I'm going to rototill all this. And it's not going to look like such a hot mess. Because everything just wants to grow. And I'm looking for my other little watermelon in here. He's hiding. It's really hard to find things, you know, when you can't get into it. It's easy for someone just to tell me, okay, you know, maybe you should have planted, you know, two plants. How would I learn, you know? How would I learn? But I am learning. Let me show you this pit stop. Look at my sunflowers. Don't know if you can see it. Probably not because of the lighting. But the bees are really liking this. So, this here, <laughs> this is my spaghetti squash bed. It's huge, and I do have a bunch of spaghetti squash growing. There's one right there. I have a really big, huge one down here. I don't know if I can get to it. Let's see. I can try to get in there right in there that's a big one and i've got some more growing in there but look at how huge this is it's taken over my greenhouse See if you walk around this way it comes out through here look at all this i had no idea that this could do that i didn't have a clue and there's another one. And then it goes around. You can see part of it coming out here. And then the other one here, where there's another one there. No so, idea that uh, spaghetti squash or watermelon could grow that long. Had no idea at all. But they're doing well. Even in the back garden, where it looks kind of ugly, they are doing well. They're producing. There's like six watermelons on there, so that's Happy good. Happy Saturday, everyone. Happy Shed Wars. Take care. We have a little um, pinto bean and kidney bean harvest. To clear that out, go ahead and put the beans in. Go ahead. Let me see. I need to see the scale, though. Move your arm. There. 
So we have 3.4 ounces of shelled kidney beans and pinto beans. They look delicious. For our first harvest. There's a ton out there. We're just going to let the other ones grow they, a little bit more. They yeah, look really yummy. They look really yummy. Thanks, Bo.